Hi. YouTube family. Welcome back to Recording Movies Recap. Today, I am going to explain an American action comedy movie. Called Barely Lethal. Watch out and take care. Prescott Academy is a government-run secret institution that trains little girls into becoming assassins. The chief of the organization, Hardman, brings them in as young as 10 months old to teach them everything about life, without guidance from, outside media. Little girls of the Prescott Academy are trained to be killing machines. They learn to shoot at three years old with guns that are taller than them. When they turn five, they are taught to drive, and by a year, they can skillfully indulge in a high-speed car chase. Every day, they practice different forms of fighting skills, so when they turn into teenagers, they can be used for several dangerous missions without being suspected. The number one rule that Hardman stands by is no attachments. Therefore, although the girls are all orphans, they have never been allowed to form connections with each other. They aren't given any names, and are known as their agent passes, she grows into a teenager with outstanding fighting skills. Her biggest competitor is number 84 who has always been the second best at everything. She despises 83 and could kill her if they weren't working for the same agency. 83 is the first one in her class to be activated, meaning that she is sent on dangerous missions before all of her classmates. As usual, 84 is not happy about it but she has no authority to protest. After being activated, 83 goes on several missions. Since she is a teenager, she is never suspected of being an agent. She completes all of her tasks with ease impressing, Hardman. However, she still longs for the normal teenage life that she never got to live. In one of her missions, she is spying on a target when she notices a party going on next door. Seeing the teenagers dance and have fun makes 83 realize that her life isn't normal. She has missed a huge part of her childhood and doesn't want her teenage years to go in vain. 83 decides to flee from the establishment and its responsibility the next chance she gets. But before that, she has to know what being a normal girl actually looks like. For this, she starts to gather intel on teenage high school life by watching movies like Mean Girls, The Princess Diary, and Clueless. Every time she is away on a mission, she buys magazines to secretly read them during boring meetings. One day, her habit gets her in trouble when Hardman finds her reading a magazine as he is briefing her about an important mission. He orders her to come back to her senses because the next mission is very dangerous. An arms dealer and the most dangerous woman in the mafia, Victoria, was located in a city eight hours ago. She has to be captured alive within two days or else she will disappear again. 84 wants to go on the mission, hoping that it would make her Hardman's favorite, but 83 is given the task. In the following scene, we see that Victoria is in a construction zone with three hostages. She insults them and takes their blindfolds off. All of a sudden, the female hostage reveals that she is 83. In an instant, 83 attacks Knox and overpowers all her henchmen. She ties a hook to Knox that goes up to an airplane flying overhead. At last, they are pulled up to the plane, and 83's mission is complete. But since Knox still has her gun, she points it at her. 83 cuts the harness and drops into the river below while Knox is pulled inside the airplane. When Hardman notices 83's absence, he tries to contact her on a device attached to her wrist. 83 gets out of the water and hears him. However, she doesn't reply, knowing that this is her only chance to escape her old life. She throws her watch away and decides to never look back. Back in the airplane, Hardman is told that they aren't receiving any visuals or audio from her. He declares her inactive and continues interrogating Victoria. Following that, 83 creates an entirely new identity under the name Megan. She also transfers into a high school in Newton and finds a family to stay with through a website. At the airport, the family comes to pick her up. It consists of the mother, Mrs. Larson, her son Parker, and her sarcastic teenage daughter, Liz. 
Liz is not too happy about Megan's arrival and has a hard time adjusting with her around the house. She finds it weird that Megan is excited about normal things like riding the school bus. Still, to please her mother, she agrees to help Megan around the school. On her first day at school, Megan dresses up in a ridiculous outfit, making everyone stare at her. Only a few minutes in, a bully named Gooch calls her fresh meat as everyone laughs. To make her feel better, Liz gives her less patterned clothes to wear. During the morning assembly, he is there to warn her that Victoria has escaped from Prescott and is planning to take revenge on her. He offers her to return to Prescott, but Megan refuses. Later, we see her and Liz driving to school when they are pursued by a masked assassin. While in a car chase, Megan tells Liz the truth about her past life. They eventually crash in a junkyard along with the assassin's car. The assassin is lost, but Megan recognizes her to be Heather by the scent of her perfume. Liz is in the hospital after the crash. Megan wants to leave before more people get hurt because of her, but Liz thinks that Megan trying to abandon the family would be worse. Starting that day, they get along well. Megan tells Liz everything about her life as an agent. They shop outfits for homecoming together and get each other ready for the special night. Liz goes out with Gooch, who has changed after spending time with her at the party. Meanwhile, Chase and Megan go together. Megan had thought that the night would be special, but Chase hardly talks to her. After spending some time with him, she realizes that his entire personality is being popular. She dumps him and goes to Roger, asking him for a dance. To her surprise, he declines and turns to his date for the night, Heather. The girls argue about who gets to be his date and eventually get into a fight. They wrestle around the venue, destroying the decorations. Eventually, they end up in the kitchen where Heather is about to stab Megan. Liz sneaks up on Heather and stabs her in the leg with a corn dog stick. Then, Megan hits Heather over the head and knocks her out. Following that, the girls run back home to see that Victoria and her people have taken Mrs. Larson and Parker hostage. Megan fights them efficiently until they capture Liz. She stops resisting for the family's safety but still has hope that Hardman will come to save her. Victoria laughs at her for being so naive and reveals that she was the very first Prescott girl, number one. Like Megan, she also left Prescott for robbing her of her childhood. She challenges Megan to a one-on-one -on -one fight and defeats her easily. Suddenly, Hardman arrives with reinforcements to help Megan and capture Victoria. They break in and knock out Victoria with a tranquilizer gun. Megan hugs Hardman, thanking him for the help. In the last scene, she stops Roger on his drive home and brings him with her to a helicopter ride. Subscribe for more movies. Thank you for watching.